Hello, my name is Midnight Mothman, and today we're playing Escape from 70s. This is an escape game, and not a horror game, which is kind of new for this channel, I guess. I used to play these quite a bit, these types of games, and I kind of fell out of it, which is, funny enough, the same as um, it happened for horror games. So, I thought, what a good idea to get back into them for the channel, and have you watched me if you want. So, let's get right in and see... How hard I fail at solving these puzzles. Okay, this is kind of weird. Um, I am also very interested to know how it works, but it will be dangerous. Time travel is not a toy. The whole town disappeared into no one knows where. We still do not know where exactly he has a beacon receiver. Did you make up your mind? Then remember the main thing. In order to get back, you need to find a beacon receiver. Good luck. Okay, so I guess this is a time travel game. I honestly did not expect that. Okay, um, E is uh, using stuff, Q is opening and closing the inventory, and WASD is moving. The indicator on top shows how close you are to the required place by the shortest distance. Cold, far away, and very hot, very close. Okay. We're in an apartment which looks very 70s like. We don't have a... Um, we can't see ourselves in the mirror. We made it, it worked, and we have a connected connection on this phone. Now let's go back. Look for a receiver beacon that can bring you back to our time. So so I can continue to look for any clues in his diary. Or you look around carefully and find any clues. Wait for the call, it will be quick. Warmly. Oh. We are, it's warm. We are close to something. I, I'm guessing the translation is maybe a bit wonky. But... Yeah. You don't have a key. Very used stuff. Ah. Pick up a postcard. Oh yeah, I think this is like a Soviet era game, right? Oh, um, it's, it's supposed to be in like uh, the Soviet Union. That makes a lot of sense. So can we use this? Ah. We need to find the missing buttons. Okay. The clock is really working, huh? It's a bit fast, if you ask me. That that's a bit fast. Um what can we open? Okay. This is a cacophony of like noises right now. I don't think this is gonna be important, so let's turn it off with the background music being so loud maybe we can turn this off there we go let me take this oh no oh uh, no we we do this later <laughs> i i am really bad at those which is kind of ironic saying that i used to like these types of games but well, not everyone can be good at everything, right? 1975. I've not examined everything in this apartment. Can open the toilets. In the kitchen. Is that a... Ah, that's a button. Open this. That's the bread box. I have no matches and tea. I'm trying to open everything. <laughs> oh, there we go. Postcard. Some nice Soviet era propaganda. Well, nice, I say, but you know what I mean. Matches. I don't know what that does, but. go back and uh, use our button that we found on that box. I think we need one more though, right? What was not that missing? Oh no, actually we have to... Ah, okay. Excuse my quietness, but I think... I mean, I can solve this, I think. Using this, this is the right now. Um. 
There we go, we got it. Phew, that was a hard one, huh? Could this be the key to the locked door? Probably. Very hot, yes. Nice. Let's look around. Looks like some, it's either some worker propaganda or some really dope movies. On a postcard. That's a cute one. Oh my god, come on. I found information that he liked to leave secret notes written in milk for his comrade. What the hell? It looks like a blank sheet of paper, but when heated information begins to appear on it. Have you come across a similar sheet? Find and heat it. Look for some kind of burner or candle. Perhaps something useful will appear. We were just in our new room. Can we not look at it for now? Let's look at this stuff for now. I mean, there's a blank sheet, but... Leave useful? I, I'm guessing this is like a bad translation again. I will take it with me. I don't have a projector film. See. Hmm. I guess we should probably look around if we missed something. There wasn't really milk. I guess this is maybe milk. Yeah, that's probably milk. But a sheet of paper. Probably something we missed in the living room then. Can't open this. Wait, what was that? Oh, I guess we maybe should play this. Let's look at this if, uh, if we do though. Oh. I didn't see that. Hmm. Wait, it says very hot. Oh, I picked up a film for the projector. Where, is, where did that come from? I guess we're gonna look at the film now. It makes sense why there's the sheet, because uh, we can uh, put a film in here and project it. Oh, where can I use this code? I think you need to look in the hall. I mean, in the hall. Wait, isn't that the thing that we just saw? We should, I should probably uh, note this down. Okay. Um, we sh I mean, I I'm assuming... Can we get rid of this message? <laughs> I guess not, but I'm assuming we can solve this one. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Now we now we have it gone. Ah, <laughs> yes! Now it's back again. Let's solve this puzzle. This is gonna be... There we go. First line done. There we go. Am I missing one? I, I have no idea. Wait, it said warm, right? I don't want to move into into the desk. I'm assuming there's something else we're missing here. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't... Maybe it wants me to do this one. So it should be... The other way around. Four, two. There we go. It seems to heat over a candle. Let's do that. We have our candle. Look at that. Guess it's in the attic. Wait, but... 
Did this puzzle on the table do nothing? I guess not. Well, can we go to the attic? Ah, we can. Goodbye. No, we can't ring. Up to the attic. That's a very flimsy uh, way to go. Oh, wait. <laughs> Where's the hole where we went up to? Oh, there. I guess this is it. Kind of weird, honestly. What? I'm assuming this is it. So top left should be... This? But let's look at it again. This way, and this way. We opened it. Oh my god, this is uh, badly... I at first thought this was something way worse. A mystery to collect. Is there anything else left here? Or maybe it has something to do with that. Oh no. Wait, can I... Let me move a little bit to the side so I can actually see it. Ah, there we go. The key is assembled. Where to place it? Might have to look in the basement. We're moving all over the house. Let's pop down again. There we go. Take a look in the basement. What can we find in the basement and accept spooky ghosts? But it's not a horror game, so I'm assuming not. Ooh, there we go. Where to go? Oh, wait. Before I go in there, that's a screwdriver. Okay, I'm assuming we can only go into this one. Wee! That's a sleigh. That's not really a puzzle, is it? <laughs> okay, we actually need to click on it. Ah. Oh no. Okay, I'm assuming I have to... I need to find where to use it. Okay, let's go back up. Because I really didn't look at the door. And it could totally be... Oh. Be there. There must be a hidden key nearby. Does it have something very hot? Hey. Okay, so this should be this, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the key. And we're out of here. But I'm assuming we are not done yet because we haven't found the thing that we need to go home yet. Oh my god, now I'm, now I'm schmoving here. You know what? There's probably a postcard somewhere around here. So. Is that a doggy? Oh, it's a cat! Hey, cat! 
<laughs> Stay here. Are you actually helping me? Maybe Cat is saying that I should go here. Oh. Well, we got it. I have new information. In order for the beacon receiver to work, you need to turn on the signal amplifier at the substation. Look for the substation and run it. And the beacon receiver itself must be turned to a certain frequency of the substation. Find the instruction. It should be... It should be. <laughs> and then launch the beacon receiver. Oh my god, that's uh, not very... I have no idea. Ah, okay, we were able to pick up a key. Three. Um, ah, yes. You know, you know what? I'm not from the east at all. But when I grew up, everything kind of looked like this, if I'm being honest. Oh, this is three. Hey, we got lots of new stuff. The lever screwed on. I need a wrench. A postcard. Nice. What is this? Why were we able to open that? It's saying hot. Hey, we do have a wrench. There we go. Unscrew it. Pick up the lever or lever. It's probably from the substation. Oh, what's this? 65 and 35. I'm assuming that's gonna be important. Um, let's go back. There's, there's little sheds back there. Oh, is that a... It's a postcard. Any more here? No. We should probably go around the area and see if we can find something. Actually, let's see if we can click anything. Can we swing? No. This is probably all not, not clickable. I thought maybe if we clicked something, a key or something would fall out, you know? I'm kind of used to... Used to... Am I supposed to be able to go here? Um... There's a building here, so... <laughs> I guess you should take a look. I don't want to fall through the... I'm telling you right now, if I'm falling through the floors, this is over. I'm not gonna do those sliding puzzles again. Oh. Oh, are we connecting these? I'm pretty good at these, I would say. No, that was already correct. This is correct. We can't even connect these, right? No, we can't. Um, there should be an instruction next. Oh. Is it that easy? <laughs> can't be that easy, can it? That one and that one. The levers are right. Left, left, bottom, right. And that's 15. Okay, I'm assuming I need to do something here. I, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here. I mean... We can connect stuff like this. Oh! Where I supposed to know that? I do hear something in here. Yeah, I'm not sure where left, left, bottom, right, 15 comes into play yet. 
There's another path here, so let's just follow that. Oh, there's actually another hole here. Okay. Let's go in there. A weird movement. Ugh. Okay, yeah. I was about to say, let's actually look around the house before we go in. Um, I'm guessing that's water or coffee or something. It's not a postcard. It doesn't matter what side we go in from. Probably not, huh? Oh, oh, okay. Wait, is that the only thing that we have here? Uh, we probably will find our amplifier here. If we go to the 15 and do bottom, bottom. No, no, no. Oh my god, did I forget it? Bottom, left, left, bottom, right. Okay. I picked up a beacon. Need to set it up. I think I saw the manual in the garage. Uh, 6535. Can we go out here? No. Okay, let's go back. Wait, can I already use that? Oh, weird. Oh, this this doesn't work. Let's set this up. We have to click it if it's down there. Let's wait. Hey! Here you are at home. I was very worried since we succeeded. Maybe I should... Uh, I should not do a Russian voice. <laughs> Maybe now we will find out what happened to the residents. As I understand it, the Beacon's receiver failed during another experiment and moved not only the professor, but also all the local residents who were next to him. That's just where? Can we help them get back? No, we can't because we just finished the game. Yeah, I think this... <sighs> Listen. I think the look of this game was actually really neat. Some textual resolution was kind of low, if I'm being honest. Some was fine. Um, it had a nice art style. Um, even though I never lived in this time, I never lived in this area. It, it felt how you see it on TV and stuff, right? In the movies. But two sliding puzzles in the beginning is already bad for me. And that might just be personal bias because I really don't like sliding puzzles. Um... I definitely spent five minutes on each of them because I, I'm just really bad at them. Even though I'm, I'm good at other puzzles, sliding puzzles, I, they just don't make sense to me. Even though I always get to the end and I kind of solve them, I kind of know how to solve them, it's just maybe I'm too dumb for them, right? But um, it felt like stuff didn't really make sense. It involves just a lot of clicking, finding stuff, things in like little um, cupboards or whatever and I, I like if an escape game has um, kind of a road that you follow. You find multiple puzzles that you maybe can't solve yet but as soon as you find one that you can solve that gives you something to solve the next one. It needs to be a chain reaction in my opinion to be really fun. Um, it's also even though there was so little text in there the translation I I bet in the original uh, Russian, it's much better. But, the, I mean, it's just time travel, which is kind of... You could have made it like a, I don't know, spy fiction thing, right? Because you already had, like, paper that um, shows, like, a secret code if you hold it over fire. Yeah, I would say the style is okay. The puzzles were meh. I, I do want to play more escape room games, so don't get me wrong. This won't be the last one. Eventually, we find one that I really enjoy, and I'll just get into it like crazy right um either way i hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye bye